Hi everyone, Jill Hicks here. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube page. Be sure to press subscribe and you will receive um, an email that'll let you know when YouTube's, my YouTubes are gonna be loaded. All right, so today's topic is dealing with college coaches that do not get back to you. This can be very frustrating. Um, if you don't have an advisor and you don't have those kind of connections, maybe your club coach isn't that connected and helping you with the recruiting process, it can be very frustrating. And let's say you're beyond being a sophomore because you know the rule is, let's review that rule that changed in May. College coaches cannot have back and forth communication with you until after your sophomore year, June 15th. So you shouldn't expect to receive anything back when you send an email prior to that date, all right? So let's say you're beyond that date. You've sent out some emails and you're pretty sure that you're close to their level of gymnastics, but you're not getting any responses. So why is that? Let's go over a few reasons it could be. So one is they may not be interested in you, so they're not returning. Some coaches return and let you know we're full or we're not interested, sorry you're not at our level. Those kind of emails you might get responses just like that so you will know to move on. Number two, they might be interested in you but they are not yet working on your year of graduation in recruits. That can be a reason why they're not responding quite yet. Number three, they may think you want a scholarship and they don't have any left so they're not responding, all right? Number four, they have forgotten to respond and they are not good at getting back to you. Um, doesn't It's not personal. Some, uh, all college coaches have different um, and or recruiting coordinators have different styles of communication back and forth with athletes. So you can't always be sure that the reason they're not connecting with you is because they don't like you. It might be they're just slow at responding or they're just not good at it. All right, so you have to keep um, sending emails until you get, I think, a, a sure no, if you're at their level, all right? Um, number five, they might be better at connecting with you in person or at camps, so you might wanna go visit the campus, knock on the door, and you can even schedule that ahead of time if you are in your junior year. You can actually go and talk to the college coaches on their campus. Just be sure you don't go during a dead period. So you wanna be sure to clarify when those times are because they can't have contact with you on campus if it's a dead period for gymnastics. All right, this is also for acrobatics and tumbling. Um, you can also possibly, well, what are some things? So those are the five reasons uh, that I just went through that they might not be getting back to you. But what are some things that you can do to create um, possibly more communication? One is to have your club coach call the college coach and see what's up. Sometimes they'll let the club coach know more information than they will the recruit. Um, again, they shouldn't be doing that till after your sophomore year, June 15th. Uh, you could attend a camp. This can sometimes help communication open up. Um, you can change your email subject line. So you might, if you can walk on and you know they're done with scholarship offers, you might want to put it in the subject line because they might not even be opening your emails if they're looking at it and going, well, we're done with that year. All right, so you might want to put walk on in the subject line. Um, you can change your email to, hey, I've been admitted to your school. So maybe you're down the road a bit, you're a senior, and they might all of a sudden have some space. So you want to put, I've been admitted to your school. Um, also, if you're really strong on one or two events, you might want to put the events you're strong on in the subject line and what you have scored. That can be extremely helpful to getting them to communicate with you. Uh, all right, so those are some of the things and the tips that I like to give out for if you're struggling with communication with college coaches. Um, thanks for joining me here on Jill Hicks YouTube. Be sure to press subscribe.